Hi everyone, I'm Maya and in today's video I am going to be doing the biggest charity shop slash car boot sale fashion haul um, that I think I or anyone else on the planet has possibly ever seen. This is Toto by the way, he's a kind of neighbour's dog that we're getting introduced to today so we can look after him and for some reason he's taking a shining to me. So if he's in the background get used to it because I feel very privileged. He's the cutest thing in the world. So recently I've been getting majorly into fashion, which I didn't think I would ever say. Um, and because I am a university student, money is not really at my disposal. <laughs> so the perfect solution to that, if you're wanting a little wardrobe revamp, is charity shops and car boot sales because everything is at a bargain, so um, it doesn't count. This is what we are dealing with today. Uh, so, if this video is less than 15 minutes, for the love of God, give me some credit and press the like button because I don't know how that's gonna happen. If I bought all of this new, it would easily equate to over a thousand pounds, I'm certain of it. So, I think we should get started. This is actually the first charity shop style video I've done on my channel, but I do have a whole entire playlist of car boot sale hauls, there's like 14. It, it's ridiculous but if you are interested in anything kind of similar to this I will leave the link in the description and you can have a gander after this video I'm literally just going into this pile like it's a lucky dip so the first thing I'm grabbing out is I mean it's pretty basic but it is a top shop yes white shirt and I'm going for the kind of edgy indie dark academia style she says wearing a baseball jumper but even then it's size 10 so it's a little bit oversized and I just love kind of tucking this into a pair of funky trousers because can you go wrong no and this was 50p from a car boot sale can you believe it I can't next up summer has been kind of very pastel yellows oranges you know very kind of cottage core vibes so I picked up this cute little yellow cardigan beautiful can't go wrong it's from Dorothy Perkins it's very 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 soft and this was from a car boot sale it was the British Heart Foundation and this was actually 4 99 but if you can see I got it on sale for £2.49 for a lovely cute little cardigan oh next up oh my god I love this one um I went on a day out to a place called Richmond in Yorkshire with my boyfriend and if you live close by go to the charity shops please please go to the charity shops they they're so good so I got this from the British Red Cross it is an orange jumpsuit I love a jumpsuit I love a kind of dress vibe but with no chance of your knickers being flashed I'm not gonna lie my sizing is very, very weird where I have a tiny little petite torso, which is size six. <laughs> and then my bottoms are a size 10. So finding a jumpsuit that fits me is an absolute lottery winning. And this is in size eight and you guessed it, my boobs slash top don't fit. But I'm making it work because I love it. And it was six pounds. Six pounds from the charity shop. <laughs> bon appetit. Oh, shall I show you a few bits of swimwear? Mm, think I will. I am going to Greece at the end of this month. Oh, mm, even talking about it gives me shivers. First one I got is a bikini. This was from uh, a long foundation charity shop, one in the town that I live in. And it is originally from Boohoo and it, it is a gorgeous pattern that looks like the Weatherspoons plates. Doesn't bother me though, because I like the pattern. The first time I tried to try this on, as you can tell, I was very confused. <laughs> so it took me, and I'm not exaggerating, about 15 minutes to figure it out, but I did it, so it's all good. The only downside though, these are both in a size six, which means the top fits, bottoms don't, because of this booty do be too peachy. <laughs> but I got the set together for three pounds, which I think is a steal for a like, brand new bikini, the label, the little sticky, sticky label thing is still on, so it doesn't bother me. I'm just gonna get rid of the bottoms and pair it with another charity shop purchase. I got these bikini bottoms from a car boot sale actually. Um, they're originally from Primark, great for swimwear, and they were originally £3, which in itself is very good. And I got them for 50p, brand new, sticker on everything, label, beautiful. So I'm gonna pair them two together and have a paddle. This 
is a vintage Levi's denim jacket, like the authentic Levi's, aka the jackets that go for like up to £100 second hand on Depot. Your gal got one from Rabba Charity Shop. It's just, oh, it's like so rare to find stuff like this. So I could not say no. I could not say no at all. It was, mm, it would have been a crime. I would have been so ashamed. It's real Levi's. Anyway, the only weird thing about this jacket um, is on the inside pocket, um, it says, welly, welly, well, and an upside down cross, which makes me wonder the history of this jacket and who used to own it. What do you think it means? Anyone know? Anyone have any idea? Because it seems a bit weird, doesn't it? It's just a bit weird. I think it adds character personally, so <laughs> anyway, um, this jacket was from a charity shop in Liverpool and it was £18, which is not the cheapest thing from the charity shop, but these go for so much money and it's good quality because it's Levi's, so I'm stuck with it for life now. Oh, I forgot some more swimwear. Um, I got a pair of leopard print bikini bottoms that you can just pair with like a normal black top which i have one pound fifty from the salvation army lovely <gasps> next another staple uh we all know by now maya loves a white shirt but all the shirts you find in charity shops are like the really hard rough material like dress shirts i don't want any of that your girl has eczema can't afford that i don't want to be itchy but it was nice to find this because it's like a soft material. I love a soft shirt. It's originally from Next, which, I mean, it's quite bougie in my opinion, at least. And it's in size six, but it's still quite oversized. It's just nice to pair with anything, isn't it? And it was £4.79, but I got it for £2.39 in the sale. Guess what my favourite colour is at the minute? Everything I own is white. Every time I need to put a whitewash on, Chaos, chaos. This is so cute. I saw this at a car boot sale, not a charity shop, and it was just on the rail, and I was like, mm, it's not really my vibe. It's very 2012 Tumblr girl vibe. You know what I mean? With the pepper on bottom and the buttons, you just know what I mean. And I got this for 50p, and I'm not gonna lie, I've been wearing it a lot. I have been embracing my past. Oh, I can't believe I haven't showed you this earlier. Right, this is my favorite out of all of them. And that says something because we still have quite a bit to go. There's also a story behind this dress. Um, I got this from the same car boot sale as that white top. Um, it's this beautiful dress and it's got the most gorgeous kind of holiday style pattern on. It's got a v-neck but it's high at the back oh, and it's really soft and stretchy. It is everything I want in a dress and more. When I spoke to the woman about it she was like I really want to keep it because it's absolutely beautiful but it's too small for me. And she said she got it um, in a market in France. Very Parisian. You can always trust the Parisians. Just wait until you see this on. This was a pound and oh my God, this is the best thing I've ever bought, ever, ever. Hands down, oh, I love it so much. I will never give this away. This is gonna be family heirloom now. My daughters are gonna be wearing this. So yes, this is a completely different day to me filming all the other clips and I've got a plan since then, but look, just look at the dress. Look at the dress. Oh my God. I'm too good at finding bargains. What can I say? Oh my God. But next we have a lot of skirts because your gal has been very into midi skirts. Now it's in summer and it's been boiling. So the first skirt that I picked up was at a charity shop in Hebden Bridge, which uh, I went for a weekend wear, and it is the most beautiful place ever. Everyone dressed very, very vintage and funky, so the charity shops were great. It is just this gorgeous kind of deep burntish red midi skirt. It's very, very vintage, you can tell, because it's got a subtle flower pattern on it. It seems very old, but oh, mm, it's just delicious. I have been wearing it non-stop, non-stop, and it was only £3.50. <laughs> My heart bleeds with happiness. Next midi skirt I got, you can tell what pattern I'm liking at the minute. It's originally from ASOS and it's just this midi skirt with a little slit on the side. It fits me perfectly, I think it's size 8. And once again, been we wearing it with anything. Bloody brilliant. This was from the British Heart Foundation charity shop and it was three pounds. Can you go wrong? Because 
I've been wanting to get more midi skirts and all of them are like £25 each for a skirt. No, thank you. £3, yes, please. I love this skirt. This is the one I've been wearing the most. Um, it's also from a charity shop. And it's this super funky black and white pattern. It's very Zara. Do you agree? This is the type of thing you would find in Zara. And it just goes with absolutely everything. Everything. You can imagine it. Think of a clothing item. It goes with it. And this was also £3. I got it at the same time as the leopard skirt, so that was a good day for me. I got this one like two days ago. It is from Bernardo's and it was £2. It's this gorgeous kind of black currant colour. <gasps> it's very boho, isn't it? It's very boho. It's kind of branching out into a style I have not explored before. I also think this is vintage because it seems quite old and there's no label on it. It is slightly too big, so I might have to get my uh, sewing skills out, of which there are none, and try and alter it because I am not giving away this bad boy. It's so cute. And we've made it to the very last thing. Can you believe it? I'm just feeling sorry for Maya in about 20 minutes who has to fold up all this stuff and put it in the wardrobe again. Also from Bernardo's, when I got that purple skirt, I got this pair of kind of tweed tweed but it's soft i don't know kind of like dirty gray color trousers i prefer trousers like this to jeans a million times over just because they're more comfortable and they accentuate the booty these are originally from philippe adek too small but i thought i'd show you anyway because i mean they're delicious Good thing is, even if you don't like something or it doesn't fit you or whatever, it, the money's still gone to charity. It's a win-win situation. And that is everything in my pile so far. I go charity shopping, I want to say, every two days. So trust me, this pile will, you know, double very soon and I'll carry on making videos in this series. If you've been charity shopping before, please comment below and let me know the best thing you've got because holy moly, it, it's my life. It's all I do right now. Remember, I have a whole massive, massive playlist of car boot sale hauls where I got loads of makeup, clothes, so many things. So the link to that is in the description if you want to see something quite similar to this. Make sure to subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And thank you very much for watching. Uh, I cannot wait to charity shop more. These videos give me an excuse to go every day. I hope you have had a lovely day and will continue to have a lovely few days. You deserve it. And love you lots. <laughs> Bye.